was gonna be late tonight, but I'm only two, two minutes late, just two minutes. All right, we got nine seconds before we get started. I'm taking down my ginger shot real quick. wonder why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down, shut the hell up, and enjoy the show. You heard it, y'all better drink damn responsibly. I am not responsible for any of y'all grown selves, anyway. What's going on, what else? We back for another Fingery Friday. Jasmine, okay. Mm, mm, mm. I had to set, uh, you know, I just, you know, take the ginger to keep me, you know, keep my stomach good. And shit, all this wine and stuff I be drinking. Thank you so much, winos, for all the donations and shit. Who we got donations from? Uh, Kadrain, thank you so much. Um, Sleep, thank you so much. Lakita, thank you for the $20. And J. Marie Lott, I'm so excited about tonight's wine. I am too. Ooh, it's going to get heated. The church has been calling me about John Gray, okay? Listen, I've had uh, several phone calls. Hold on real quick. What's going on? We good? Oh, okay. I thought something was wrong with the technical aspect of it because they was back in the back like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, Yes, yeah, so we got a major exclusive tonight on uh the pastor, okay? We have been sent a word by God himself, okay? Right, Jeff? God, God gave us the word tonight, and we got a sermon to preach towards this end, t- towards the end of the show, and we got a special guest too, actually two special guests, okay, the one spilling the wine, uh, three special guests, me, the one spilling the wine, the second person spilling the wine, third person spilling the wine, so we got a few people, okay, we're going to be talking about Ellen, all right, uh, um, this Nas and Doja Cat beef. Um, I got some exclusive wine on Chance the Rapper. It's at news, okay? Not Chance the Rapper. Not Chance the Rapper. Damn, 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 damn. No, 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 no. Not Chance the Rapper. He's good, okay? Uh, Chance from the real, uh, uh, what is it? The real Chance of Love. He doing that show on Zeus. That guy. Put up his picture real quick so we, we don't get confused. This is not Chance the Rapper, okay? This one, Okay? Um, we're also going to be talking about Quavo and Sweetie. I got some exclusive details on her latest, uh, uh, interview, okay, about not using condoms. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. And, uh, Charlemagne the God and Jessica Reed got some information on that, okay? So, go ahead and get this wine together. We are drinking the San, is it the San Antonio, this is Jasmine's favorite wine, okay? The Cardinal, American Sweet Red, okay? It won an award. All right, let me go ahead and taste this. Thank you so much, Ruk- How you say that, Rukuya McQueen? My husband woke me up to catch the late night show. Now, you better give him some ass since he done woke you up, Okay. All right, now, I don't want to hear nothing. Now, he really going to like the show now. <laughs> All right, let me go and taste this. Hold on before I get you. said it was good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, mm. Okay. It's, it's okay. Um, <laughs> okay, listen, listen. I just got to sip easy on this because it's sweet. So when they sweet, they got a high alcohol content. Jasmine, give me your glass, okay? And uh, go ahead and put that first topic on the screen. Woo! I got damn soap in my ear from the shower. It's echoing it. What the hell going on? Okay. All right. So we're going to start with this here, okay? This mess that's going on. I already told you about it before she told you about it. Now, I am extremely glad that Megan Thee Stallion has decided to uh, speak her truth, okay? Now, you guys know that I am a third-party information site, okay? So even if it comes from directly a a person involved, it is still information that you guys are getting because you are the third party, okay? So um, I was the first to tell you that uh, uh, Tori uh, shot it, okay? In the pinky, well, it wasn't the pinky toe. It was the back of the foot. Now, I, I don't, and I, listen, I don't condone anybody getting shot. I honestly thought it was fun. Hoping to try to lighten the situation. You know, we kind of laugh at our trials and tri- tribulations and shit like that, but she didn't think it was funny, okay? It's not my fault. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, um, I, I really don't want to go back and forth because honestly, I, I'm not really feeling sorry for Megan. Now, I want her to get justice. I, I don't support Tory Lanez in no sort of kind of way. I don't listen to his music anymore. I'm just not down for him shooting anybody. Okay, it could have been my sister, somebody I don't know, even my worst enemy. I'm just not here for that. But when it comes to Megan all of a sudden wanting sympathy, all of a sudden trying to call him out because we got 
uh, certain information that she knew that we got. And that's why she said, you know, your people reaching out the bloggers. Ain't nobody reaching out the bloggers. And I ain't standing up for Tory Lanez or anybody else, okay, that's wanting to shoot her or fight her in any kind of way. Okay, now did I say what I said? Okay, now. I hope she testifies. She's probably not, okay? She's only capping for the internet. Um, and, uh, yeah, I wish her the damn best, okay? I'm glad able to get it out um, and speak her truth. We know Tory's not going to say anything because he's not going to add to uh, any charges being pressed against him. But, yes, um, I'm, I'm happy for Meg, okay? But at the same time, I'm not feeling sorry for her ass at all, all right? Um, and, I mean, literally her ass at all because the only thing she was really mad about was not shaking that ass online. That was it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, who's next? There's that there. Oh, wow, Faith. Why you, why you don't give me all these wrinkles? Why? That's what she that is not what she looked like. That is a filter on her face. That, she got three fold. I didn't know she was that old. Okay, anyway, um. Ellen's been going through a lot, okay, um, uh, concerning her show. She is being accused of, I guess, workplace misconduct, being mean to employees and shit like that. And all of a sudden, like, uh, 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 the, uh, I don't know, the network has launched a... Um, an investigation, okay? And so, you know, they're interviewing employees, trying to see if Ellen mistreated employees. Now, this has nothing to do with sexual assault or anything like this. This is just basically, you know, get the hell out of my face type shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk to you. I'm mean. The same thing Steve Harvey was doing. And uh, she's taking it really hard. I, I'm just like, damn, like if these employees can, you know, uh, uh, get the uh, network to launch um, I guess a whole investigation. I'm like, shit, there's a lot of jobs where I done been mistreated uh, uh, and shit like that. Them been cussed out and, you know what I'm saying? They don't dock my pay and everything like that. Can I get an investigation too? Shit, she getting one, I want one too. Now, um, Ellen is scared. And she should be. And uh, Rye would be scared too because it seems as if, like, she's no different than Harvey Weinstein, uh, R. Kelly, uh, who else? Tavis Smiley. Um, and so I guess she thought, you know, I guess her white privilege was going to, like, you know, get her by. But no, they're going to take every single dime back that they've given her, okay, and refunnel it back to employees and to the network. Because, you know, the network going to say, oh, you got to pay us something, okay, because we had to pay these employees because you treated them bad and then they're just going to hire somebody else. So they're just rotating the money and shit like that. So I would be scared too. Everything I don't worked for, you know, is going to be taken away and given back to the people. Mm -hmm, mm. It seems like a trend in Hollywood. Whew, we're doing good on the back end of the production. Everything good? All right. It's hot as hell up in here. Y'all hot? Maybe it's just the wine. Mm -hmm, mm. Um, get, what, what is that uh, character name from uh, Lord of the Rings? Smeagol, <laughs> put her picture back up. No, 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 put her picture up because it really came to me when I saw the wrinkles in the ears. I was like, she looked like Smeagol. She do. So, uh, best wishes to Smeagol. I, get it. I mean, she even got the mouth. She got the whole face. Smeagol. <laughs> okay, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Okay, real quick, we're going to have to go to break, um, and we're going to, you know, get back on task. we got to leave some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a damn glass to. We'll be back in a minute, okay, for some dragon. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once, and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Reverse! 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 Yeah! 
Y'all remember that damn song? Don't y'all laugh at me? Why knows? But for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit my olive leaf to help get your health in order. into the computer to start lagging, okay? So give us a few minutes, all right? We'll be right back. So choppy. Reverse! Reverse! Y'all remember that damn song? Don't y'all laugh at me? Why knows? But for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence, so visit embracepangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount, so use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. All right, so we are back. I apologize about the long break. We were experiencing some uh, difficulties, okay? It was slowing down. It was lagging and buffering and stuff, and so we should be good here in just a second, okay? Jasmine is going to pull it back up. Um, chats up real quick. Let me see what they talk about in the comments before we move on to Nas and Doja Cat and Black China and Quavo and Sweeney. Okay, um... Okay, so that was the last super chat. Your husband woke you up. I remember to, remember I told you to give him some ass now since he woke you up and you ain't missed the show. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yes, it's been raining all day. We've been having internet issues all day. It's still freezing and lagging. Damn, let me see what it's on. If it's on yellow, we're just going to go. Is it freezing? It's on yellow? Okay, okay. All right, let's go ahead and get back into the topics, okay? Uh, who's next? Whew, it's still freezing? Uh, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They said still lagging, still freezing, still glitching. Let me see. Hold on, guys. I'm checking from my end. What is it? Is it green now or is it yellow? Which one is on yellow and red? Yellow and red. Ugh! It's still freezing. Uh, it may be the hurricane, okay? Well, I don't want to do a whole show when it's slowing down and there, you know, I can't do that. What? Okay, all right. Let's go. The devil is a liar today, okay? The church did this today. We good. All right, who's next? Church ain't finna knock my shit out. They probably praying right now. This damn live stream go down. It's not on, It's not gonna happen. Okay. Um, interesting beef here. Okay. Um, Nas has taken shots at Doja Cat. Why? I don't know. Okay. Well, let me take that back. I do know. Uh, he's reviving his uh career. Uh, no one is. I'm only listening to Illmatic. I'm not listening to anything else. Okay. Um, none of his new stuff. It still sounds like his old stuff, but it, you know, more like a beginner rapper. You know, even though he's an amazing lyricist, uh, you know, I just want to remember you at your height. Okay. And, and now he's taking shots at Doja Cat. Um, doing interviews. Uh, doing a press run. 
online, things like that. You know, try to get his name buzzing. And surprisingly, Doja Cat has announced that she's going to be hitting back, okay? And her track is called Nas. Now, at first I was like, Doja, now I know you are an amazing artist. You're very creative, okay? Very clicky, you know? Um, but I, I didn't know if she really wanted that smoke with Nas. And then I got to thinking, you know what I'm saying? I had to put two and two together. I tried to make a phone call, but she busy. But it ain't like she'll tell me anyway, you know what I'm saying, if she did have anything to do with it. But, you know, uh, uh, Doja and Nikki are pretty close. And so I'm just wondering if Nikki had a conversation. I'm just putting it out there, you know. I'm just saying it ain't too... Uh, uh, far-fetched if she's had a conversation with Miss Doja and gave her some bars to knock Nas's ass out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if you remember, Nas and Nikki were screwing at one moment, at one point, and it, it stopped. I don't know why it stopped. It just stopped, okay? I think it had a lot to do with him not measuring up to Safari. Safari langing. He is langing, langing. Not long, he is lang. Okay? Now, yeah, I know y'all saying, you know what I'm saying? She's a little different. I think she was just raised differently. Wasn't around her people and shit. And because she's so different, it sells. You know, these crazy, off the wall people, you know, all the artists are crazy and shit like that. Uh, but I'm sure Nicki Minaj just had a conversation with her. It's going to give her some pretty interesting bars because I'm like, you are really brave to be taking on Nas, okay? I, I don't see what helped her career at all. The shot didn't lower her career. So I don't see why she's even taking it on unless she got some information that we all need to know. And I'm sure she does, okay? I'm sure Nicki gave her, because Nicki real petty. Mm -hmm, mm. That's my friend, I know. She real petty. Uh, who's next? Are we still lagging? We good? We're good. What the hell? Alexa? The fuck? I know. Alexa talking shit to me. She just got what up. Anyway, okay, who's next? Okay, Miss Black China. Looking like a damn China doll, okay? She literally looks like a China doll. All that damn surgery she had. But um, she's being dragged online. Uh, uh, for supposed, well, not supposedly, she's charging her fans $1,000 for a FaceTime or a chat, uh, something like that, and then $250 for a follow. Now, everybody's dragging her, and she got an OnlyFans site, she's doing what she gotta do. I'm like, listen, y'all, she is not getting no child support, um, from neither Rob or, uh, uh, what is the other guy, damn, damn, Tiger. Not Tigger, Tiger, because remember I got that mixed up on the last live, okay? Um, and so uh, she's not getting no child support. She got to do what she got to do. You know China has always gotten paid off of bleaching, screwing, okay, and appearances, all right? And she ain't off of any of that now. So let her charge the dumb asses that want to pay her $1,000 for a chat for her to say hey or $250 for a follow that she's going to quickly unfollow a week later. That's they dumb asses, okay? It ain't got nothing to do with her. You got to respect the game. Okay, moving on. I'm trying to move on because we got to get to this long ass damn uh, uh, story at the end because it's long. It's long. Uh, okay. Now, do y'all remember if you are a day one wino? This is when I was at my you know house before this house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, house before this house. House. I was in Cobb County. Goddamn. Okay, they said I moved because I was running from Cardi. That's what they said. Ah, uh, child. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway. Everything is public record. Okay, uh, I got some information. Okay, actually, you know what? I can tell y'all about it now. I ain't gonna reveal no names or anything like that. I told y'all about it back then, but I'm gonna get a little bit more specific. Okay, some information on some girls. Okay, one of the girls, were, okay, how can I put this? Okay, um, first of all, Migos, uh, you know, sweetie, she's a bit on the, is she light skin? Is sweetie light skin? Or is that the picture? Is Sweetie light skin or dark skin? She light skin. Okay. Um, that Migos were a uh, colorist. Okay. So they did a show in Las Vegas. This is when uh, uh, um, um, uh, Cardi and uh, Quavo were married. I'm not. I said Cardi and Quavo. God damn it. <laughs> damn names. Cardi and Offset uh, were married at the time. You know, take off, don't tell his business. And Quavo was in a serious relationship, still is, okay? And so the girl came to me because she said, one, you know, they were discriminatory towards uh, her dark-skinned friend. They only wanted light-skinned girls or Hispanic girls to come uh, from the show to a private suite in Las Vegas, okay? She gave me exact 
um, the location, what happened, what they were wearing. Offset had chose under his towel because he wore the towel on his head and shit. And then he had somebody carrying his bags like he was from coming to America or some shit. And then he came out and chose two Hispanic girls, took them back to the room. And Quavo has been screwing this girl's friend, the one who brought me the story, for years. And so I had got a little specific. You guys know I'm going to ask the questions. I said, well, um, did, did Quavo wear protection? She goes, oh, yes. She always says that because she's been trying to get pregnant. And Quavo uh, don't play that. He always wears condoms with his girls. Now, what uh, prompted me to add the story is because I heard Sweetie say something. And I was like, child, you lying. She lied. Um, she gave an interview. I don't know if it was an interview or a statement. I can't remember the specifics now because I'm kind of all over the place because the damn show was all fucking up and everything. But long story short, I'm doing good. Don't speak that. Okay, I ain't gonna speak it to the church is praying on me. They praying that this internet, this live stream go down so Pastor John Grace, uh, potential side chick, ain't gonna be exposed. Mm -hmm, mm. Say he got one job left at Lakeland for Joel Osteen. Okay, anyway, um. So when she was like, you know what, me and Quavo use condoms. I'm not trying to get pregnant. I'm not trying to get this. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Sweetie strikes me as the type to be with child within one month of meeting a dude, okay? That's just the type of person she strikes me as, okay? She doesn't strike me as the type that wants to go to school, that wants her own. She strikes me as the type to do whatever she got to do to bag whoever she wants. And Quavo ain't falling for it, okay? So her trying to say, oh, we use condoms, it's him. Because one, he ain't trying to catch nothing, and he ain't trying to be caught doing nothing, okay? So if he wearing a condom with this one, the only thing he can bring her back is crabs. That's it. But I'm sure she gets a Brazilian wax, so she won't even know she got crabs, okay? At all, okay? So, sweetie, need to stop. Okay, no, I, I, I don't even see what type of career she has. I mean, I like a few of the songs that she does. Um, you know, they're catchy, you know, because she uses old beats and stuff. But other than that, the girl's a housewife. She's a housewife. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Moving on. Um, This is interesting. We spoke a little bit about this during our last live, okay? On Monica's uh, first love being seen murder. Well, we got some more details involved in this, okay? So Master P ain't too happy with, uh, uh, I guess, Kim Kardashian. I said Kardashian with emphasis on Kardashian. Uh, Kardashian, that's what I need to say. Uh, he's not too happy with uh, Kim uh, getting his brother out of jail. He's jealous. I saw a video on Lost. His videos here, you know, they real straight. Uh, got followers now. They trying to copyright strike and everything. I said not today. So, um, posted a video, very upset, saying that he's he ain't giving no money. Uh, his brother and his family is ungrateful. And how dare he says that you know Kim is now I guess his angel because she's trying to get him out of jail. And all these years he's been putting money on the books. He's been over me. Was it? Yep. And it was a depiction of her relationship with C Murder, but she went on to marry somebody else, Shannon. Now, Shannon took on a couple of side pieces, rightfully so, okay? Now, I know y'all gonna get mad because I'm dragging your Monica, okay? I'm a big fan of Monica, but it is what it is. Um, if you are going to visit your ex and put money on the books for years, I mean, he's been locked up for, what, 20-something years? Okay, now I know he was her first love. He probably didn't do what he said he was going to do, but he was running with them dudes that did it. Okay, so which means you're guilty just by being out and told these dudes, listen, they ain't going to love. I tell my little cousins all the time, as soon as your ass get locked up, you ain't going to be able to find none of them dudes nowhere. Okay, but, you know, they got to learn the hard way. But Monica has always, she's always been in love with him. And Shannon knew that. Shannon knew that he could never have Monica's entire heart and so he decided to go get somebody else's piece of heart, okay? It was a few pieces of hearts that he went to get, okay? And now she's trying to make it seem like, oh, he's responsible for the divorce. But no, you wasn't all in with him. And Master P let us know, okay? After your ass clapped back stating that you had been putting money on his books and going to see him for years while you were married and had children, okay? Waiting for his ass to get out. If that was a Shannon, I would have left too, shit. So what, you ain't gonna get his ass out of jail and work with damn Kim Kardashian. This shit been in the works for a minute, okay? It's been in the works. She just finally got Kim Kardashian to agree to it, okay? Uh, got her uh, her free lawyers, because them lawyers is working for free. 
uh, 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 to take his case, and now she's going to have the love of her life, okay? And watch, she's going to be flying his ass all over reality TV, too. Watch what I tell you, okay? Put the comments up real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for all the donations. I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, he hasn't been locked up 20 years. H how long he been locked up? Shit, I don't know. It's been a long time. She been seeing him and going to visit him and hold hands with him the whole time he was in jail while Shannon was at home with his kids and his other side chicks. Shit. I ain't mad. A lot of times people be trying to, oh, he's a basketball player, just cheating on his wife. Cheating on his wife because he can't make a call. She thinking about the female. Okay? Um, okay, you see that, uh, what's her name? Retra? The $2, uh, the girl that just uh, donated $2, did you see her? Did it drop down? Damn, she said make her a moderator. There she go. So hit the little three dots on the side of the screen and hit add moderator. She's been asking me for a minute. I'm sorry, y'all, okay? There's no favoritism here. She's just been asking me for a minute, all right? So uh, good luck. I'm sure Kim Kardashian uh, with her relationship with Trump and all that Kanye has been doing for Trump, you know, trying to take the back black votes from uh. Uh, Joe Biden, which, I mean, he wasn't going to get my damn vote anyway. I don't know who the hell I was going to vote for. Shit. Um, and so, yeah, they're doing tremendous work for uh, Trump. And so Trump is going to grant, what is it called, clemency? What is that shit called, clemency? I don't know what they, you know, pardon, pardon. Going to pardon his ass, okay? And Monica going to have that old D back. Hopefully he ain't gave that D nobody else in jail. It's called survival. It's survival. I know, Jasmine, it's survival D. I don't blame him, it's survival D, shit. Gotta get it. <laughs> I never said he was a pedophile. Who said I said C. Murder was a pedophile? Stop. And don't be trying to uh, campaign for Trump in my comments. You the lie. Okay, put him in timeout. Shit. <laughs> Let, me <stop. laughs> Let me find out who's independently running besides Kanye. Um, who's next? <laughs> Somebody said I'm not voting for Biden. For what? He ain't fine no more. He used to be fine. I vote for him. He was fine. Like, no Bill Clinton. <laughs> uh, we got three more topics. Okay. Oh, commercial? Okay. All right. So real quick before we come back um, uh, and get into the other topics and our main topic, okay? We actually got two more exclusives. Uh, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a damn glass to. Mm -hmm. See, I enjoy oral sex. But to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once, and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Reverse! Reverse! Y'all remember that damn song? Don't y'all laugh at me. Winos, but for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar or the sugar as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in Order. Damn, so I just got word winos. Uh, real quick, okay, before I, I, I give you the word that I just got. Uh, shout out to the neighborhood talk. Uh, please do not forget to order your Nutriverse, okay? I'm not trying to recruit nobody to sell under me, okay? That's a whole different part of uh, the game, okay? I am just trying to offer y'all an amazing product that I take personally, okay? It's a liquid multivitamin supplement. I pair it with my olive leaf, okay? Uh, for my energy, it helps to curb uh, my appetite so I'm not hungry. It gives you all of of the vitamins and minerals that your body needs, okay, from food that you're probably not getting because a lot of us don't eat organic all the time, okay, including me. Should I just had a little bit of McDonald's today? Um, 
I need some fries, no salt. Fries, no salt, okay? So please, um, don't forget, okay? Order your Nutriburst, order the tea. The tea gonna help you to uh, shit out that shit, okay? Below, uh, you can find the link below in the description box as well as in the comment section, okay? Now... Uh, breaking news, Spotify has muted Tory Lanez, okay? Uh, you guys know they, uh, muted to, uh, I don't know, it's to live, Chloe, I don't know the damn name, R. Kelly, of course, uh, Trey Songz has been muted, thanks to Selena Powell, that's what he, I'm telling you, if these men would just get married and settle down and don't rape women and, uh, 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 you know, uh, shoot them and, uh, piss on them, you would have some... Spotify, well, I'm just saying, title need to be next, okay? Title need to be mutant folks, too. But, you know, they support them because Jay-Z done played out. So, yeah, shut up. Who's next? <sighs> Not doing that today. It's so hot down here, my damn hair falling. <laughs> it's so fucking hot down here. And I ain't even got on no clothes. Okay, Chance. What is Chance's last name? Can you look that up for me, Jasmine? Thank you. Okay, I don't know Jazz's last name, but Chance ha is making a comeback per Ray J and Princess. As a matter of fact, I need to call both Ray J and Princess about this shit. I ain't had time to call them today because Lil' Me had my ass busy as shit. Been up since 5 o'clock this morning. His name is Kamal Givens. Kamal Givens, okay, a.k.a. Chance. He was on, uh, I think he had fought me like... Love of New York, he was on the reality show. A Real Chance, is this called A Real Chance at Love? Yeah, I love New York, he got their own spinoff with his brother. Okay, he got a spinoff with his brother, brother who has since passed. And now he has a show on Zeus. Child, okay. Uh, and Ray J and Princess are producing the show. Well, um, the show seems pretty interesting, okay? I'm just not going to pay for Zeus at all unless they pay me to pay for him. You feel me? Um, that's how it was going to work here. But, uh, Chance ain't been, uh, honest here. He ain't been keeping it real in the name of his brother because some girls that are, that have been casted on the show. I'm trying to, uh, pull it up here. Okay. Cause it's not my words. It's theirs. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this. They said chance because I don't want the LGBTQ community coming after me. So I'm going to read what they said. Uh, this is breaking news, okay? We are going to wait to get the full story because she's willing to do an interview. The I Love New York star is gay. That's what she said. Um, he filmed the whole show with me and 10 other girls. Uh, at the cabins, we found out who Chance really is. One of the girls from our show is a transgender, and we can confirm this video evidence that he is gay. His new show, Casted Transgenders. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that man is gay, and he stopped filming with us because we were ready to expose him. And they gave me the casting call and all. Oh, now, um, I don't know what to think about this. I don't, because I need to call uh, uh, Princess and Ray J. H here's what I'm going to say, okay? Because I, I want the girls to do an interview, but at the same time, I really don't give a damn. E damn. E fucking damn, okay? If they do or not. When you go on these shows looking for love and it's 10 of y'all all kissing the same dude, you know, letting him rub on your finger, you're doing whatever you got to do in the jacuzzi just to get clout. I mean, can you blame the producers for casting who he likes since y'all really don't give a damn about yourselves anyway? I mean, is that too far? Is that oh. Damn, I just bashed the girl before she gave an interview. <laughs> well, listen, listen. If she wants to give an interview, I'm sure she's going to give it to another blogger because she ain't going to fuck me no more, but that's all good. I'm just saying, y'all can't be exposing these men um, when you are willingly, like, I, I think they make you sign a waiver to say that you down for whatever and you can't sue. If you contract said STDs, if anything go wrong, they are going to film that show the way they want to film that show. And nowadays, okay, it's 2020, everything is inclusive, so it doesn't matter. Transgender, you could be gay, you could be straight, you could be, uh, wh what is it called when you, bisexual, you could be without, whatever you want to be, okay? And if chance... Uh, it, it likes taking a chance on that shit. The girls can't get mad. Your ass signed the damn paperwork. I mean, you want us to feel sorry for you, y'all? All ten, ten bitches is going for the same dude? The hell? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. All right, you took a chance. You took a chance, okay? Let me try to spin this bitch. You took a chance. Not my fault, yours. That was exclusive information, okay? Um, sorry, I couldn't get you more. I don't really think it, 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 um, it's worth it. Okay. If he likes who he likes, that's it. 
So him, all right. Uh, they got their check. That's all that matters. Who's next? Chance look like he, you know. That's why you said it's a perfect picture. <laughs> it's a perfect picture. Okay. This shit here. Y'all know I have been on Charlemagne's ass since the beginning. But I'm here to drag both today. Okay? Because I just recently saw a very disturbing interview with Miss Jessica Reed. Okay? She has accused uh, 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 Charlemagne when she was 15 years old of... Uh, drugging her and uh, raping her at a party, okay? He was 23 years old, working at a radio station at the time. Um, She's since uh, done an interview and a documentary with both Star from the Star Report as well as um, Choke No Joke, okay? And Choke No Joke filmed a documentary. um, And then, you know, Jessica's mother, okay, who I have dragged several times and I will continue to drag her ass, okay? Because I said she was responsible for her daughter, First, I'm, I'm not, listen, listen, okay. Um, as a parent, um, I don't, I wouldn't allow my 15-year-old daughter to go out with 23-year-old men to a party, you know? I just wouldn't do it. But back in the day, things were different. They was hoping for their daughters to snag a husband, okay? And Charlemagne was up and coming, and she thought that Charlemagne was going to make her daughter a wife, but instead he made her daughter a victim. Um... And she has since been suffering ever since then, trying to get justice. But, okay, I'm not trying to victim shame, but I got I to gotta tell the truth here. Okay, listen. Um, she said something that ticked me and a few other bloggers off, okay, during her recent, I guess, interview with Choke No Joke after she literally, like, dissed choke no joke after he funded her entire documentary and then she says you know what we don't want that we have this manager who turned out to be fake i'm, I'm just i'm just throwing in some details there just in case y'all don't y'all haven't followed this story and um uh she's basically shitted on a lot of people that have helped her to get her story out including me um the star report choke no joke that is still interviewing the bitch okay um all the black bloggers impressive a uh, lovely tea all of us took risks doing this story because when you come with allegations like this they come with their lawyers and Charlemagne was coming at youtube he was getting videos taken down i think impressive channel got striked uh star uh his video got striked um choke no joke she just basically dissed him and said she wanted to sit down with msnbc she wanted to sit down with cnn and i'm just like girl um, now I'm really starting not to feel sorry for you. Okay. It did happen when you were 15. I think she's like 35 now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I, I realize that it is very painful watching somebody that violated you, uh, continue to rise in life while you're stuck suffering. Um, because it was a very brutal rape. I did talk to her friend that was there too, that was drugged, um, that night. And they both, uh, point to Charlemagne and his, uh, I guess his brother and cousin that they were with. But I just want to say this because I do have um, receipts to back it up. It's just interesting. Now, I do believe wholeheartedly that Charlemagne did rape her partly because he hasn't sued her. He's came after every single blogger. Me? You know, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn, okay? Ogre and them are ready. Uh, the Star Report, uh, 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 just anybody he's threatened. I mean, he's even threatened her with, uh, you know, a cease and desist. And I'm like, if you're willing to spend all this money coming after bloggers coming after, uh, you know, just anybody that's reporting the story, but you have yet to come after her. And the reason he has yet to come after her is because when he serves her, she can serve his ass. And when she serves his ass, there's a public court battle, okay, that TMZ is following, I'm following, all the bloggers follow, the ones that came, that he came after and shit, and we are reporting, okay, minute by minute, and as we're reporting, guess what happens, the checks go down, so that's the whole reason why he hasn't decided to, su- he hasn't decided to sue her, now she was trying to sue him per Avion, that's what Avion said, okay, y'all remember Avion, uh, uh, what is it, Fall Star, okay, Wendy Williams' husband's boyfriend, Hate it, fuck that man. Anyway, um, and so that's a whole nother story, okay? I'm, I'm a, you know, A.V. I want to sit down and talk about that. We're going to bring him on the show. But anyway, um, I mean, it's sensitive. It, it, it's tough. But 
It's like, I want her to have justice, but I'm like, when all these black bloggers were risking their blog sites and their, you know, their platforms to help you and you dissed us all because you wanted the white folks to help you and they asses didn't pay no attention to you whatsoever because they don't give a shit about Charlemagne. Now you want to come back saying, oh, nobody wants to pick up your story. Use a lie. Use a lie. And it's probably because your mama, your mama fucked you up the first time, okay? When she wouldn't allow you, wouldn't allow you to testify and put his ass in jail because she was too embarrassed to let the world know that she was negligent when it came to you, okay? So she just had your ass sweep it under the rug, go to a little council and move you out of the state, and now you're still watching this, okay? And your mother, her mother has been in contact with every blogger, me cussing me out, cussing all the bloggers out because... Her ass has wanted a check from Charlemagne from the get-go. I'm like, well, do you want justice or do you want a check, okay? Now, both of their asses, now, listen, I, it's like I want the girl to have justice, but at the same time, I'm like, you're doing too much. You're doing too much, okay? And that interview with Choke No Joke that she recently did, I'm like, girl, listen, you have blown your chances for any case that you've wanted, all right? You have lied and contradicted yourself so many times, and I just honestly hope she just goes away, okay? And what's going to come to Charlemagne is going to come. And I know, I know he He's raped that girl because I'm like, if you didn't rape her, why are you spending all your money coming after us and not her? Why? Because he knows. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, somebody hit me with a lawsuit and I hit their ass right back. It's like you open your ass up for vulnerabilities. And then when, when it's time for the discovery... Y'all asses want to say, you know what? Let's just make this go away because it's public depositions. And that's what he don't want. That's what he don't want. Now, I wish him the best. I wish that he, you know, I hope that he gets all the money that he needs to get to prepare to give it away, just like Ellen and everybody else that's going to give that goddamn shit away, okay? You know how they recycle it, okay? They're going to give it to you and take it from you when they get all these people, these victims to stand up and tell them that, uh, and tell people that you raped their ass because that's exactly what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. <sighs> Who's next? Sorry. Oh, no, you good. No. Not did I go too deep? No. Let me see the comments. It's hot as hell up here. Woo! Okay. Uh. Okay. Damn, it's hot. You hot too? Yes. Damn. I thought it was just me. Shit, like my damn my hormones and shit. Fucked up. Okay, who is next? All right, listen, we're going to take a break. And then I'm going to uh, text my guest, let them know that we're going to get ready to call them before I introduce this story, okay? Pastor John Gray, welcome him to the pulpit. Sorry, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means both the rest of them glass to <laughs> See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this shit once. And the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Y'all remember that damn song, don't y'all laugh at me Why knows, but for real, listen close and listen carefully The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar Or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies Like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it and their friend lupus can get it too okay so i need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do so visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order uh <clears throat> made a uh church church <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> jesus made wine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, welcome congregation. Uh, we got, uh, uh, a word from God today. He's given us, uh, Pastor John Gray. John Gray, could you please come to the pulpit? John Gray. Uh, why you got on his thug clothes today? Why you got on his thug clothes? He got on the day. He's like, what's up, Joshua? What's up? What's up? What's up? I, I listen, 
because I know there's people watching this shit. But listen, um, all right, why well, you know, So I've had uh, woo, the church, church people been calling. They say, Tasha, please don't run this story. I know the pastor got a hot dick. That's what they said. I said, I swear to God, I swear to God. They said we know we got a hot dick, but please let God do this. Let God. I said no, 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 no. I said a friend of mine told me. He watching tonight. He said that God anointed bloggers to do the Lord's work. I said, what you mean by that? He said, because when these pastors out here fucking, we are going to be reporting on the fucking up. <laughs> now, and for, you know, if it was the first time, I wouldn't be so happy. But this is the second time. And listen. I know this is gonna be hard on his wife. Don't y'all be dragging his wife, okay? This is not her. This is not her dick anymore, okay? He is. He telling bitches that he getting a divorce, okay? Now, um, I had a young lady. Well, she's not young. She's about forty five. Did I just burp on camera? I just damn burp. I had a young lady contact me some weeks ago uh, about Pastor John Gray, and I was shocked because he has been in this situation before. The last time he has bought his wife a Lamborghini, went on the reel, told the reel that he did not sleep with that woman, although we have other receipts that say so, that he did more than sleeping. He didn't sleep with her. He just ate a pussy all night. That's what I heard. Um... The last woman, okay? But we, we got somebody to get details on that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the, uh, the phone call that I had with this young lady, and then um, we're going to get right into business with our special guest, okay? So here is Pastor John, uh, uh, John Gray's, uh, not alleged, his, uh, uh, what is this, soon-to-be side chick? I mean, she was he was sending her money and shit, and she was sending tenant pictures, and he was, yeah, yeah, his sugar baby, okay? Go ahead and put the video on the screen. Oh, no, you good. Now tell, okay, now tell me how y'all met. Like, when and where did y'all meet and what month? I'm from New Jersey. I live in Houston, but my brother is in New Jersey. He's a pastor, and him and John Gray known each other since they were youth pastors. What? So, uh, yeah, my brother. <laughs> so, John Gray didn't know I existed until, um, so my brother's wife passed this April, um, and he had, his, had her memorial on Facebook. And John Gray was speaking. He was one of the speakers. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. Because I've been following John Gray on Instagram for years. You know, I never bothered him or anything. And so I was like, oh. And, and to the point where they were still kind of close to where he called my brother's daughter, my niece, his niece. And so I went on his Instagram. And he had just posted a picture of his wife. I said, well, if he just posted this picture, let me just say what I have. You know, what I, I just said. I told him, I said, Thanks for the kind words that you said about my brother, to my brother about his wife. That was very nice. Now, how so, old are you? Because you sound young. I sound young. No, I'm 48, actually. Girl, no way. <laughs> Yeah. Girl, I thought you was like 22. Everybody, do everybody no. think you like you sound that young? No, I know. And I look young, too. It's crazy. But, yeah, no, I'm 48. I just turned 48. Okay. I'm just nervous. I'm nervous. But, okay, so... I um, sent him a video. I mean, I sent him the text and the message saying thank you for what the kind words that you said about my brother's wife. That was, you know, it was very nice or whatever. So then the picture got deleted. And then when I was talking to him a couple of weeks ago, I said, he said, he said, who do you think deleted the picture? And I was like, oh, he said, because I called, and he said, I responded. I said, oh, I didn't even see the response. And then I guess he talked to my brother and then he requested me on Instagram and I've never bothered him. He and he he sent me a message saying asking me how my brother was doing. I said he good. His daughter's holding him down. He's doing all right. And you know he'll like a few of my posts on Instagram. And then um, about I would say a month ago, he asked me where I work at. I'm a hairstylist here in Houston. So I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't give him my address or anything. I just told him the name and where it was located in Houston. Because I guess he just had a birthday in the end of June. He said, you know, you could have did a lot of heads. Like, he had family and stuff. I could have, his wife or whatever, I could have did their hair. I was like, oh, that's what's up. So, like, a couple days after that, I told him where I worked at. He called my job. What? And I answered the phone. I'm, I'm the manager at the hair salon, and I answered the phone. And he said, hey, Mary, it's Don Gray. I said, no, it's not. I, he said, yeah, how you doing? I was like, what? I said, he, 
I said, okay, I told you where I work, but you just de- decided on yourself to look up the phone number and call my job? Yeah, so, and that's how we started talking. I told him, because I was busy at the salon, he said, you can't really talk now. I said, no, can you, what's is wrong on my part? I said, can you take my personal number now? Because, you know, I just felt, you know, he, you know, him and my brother were cool. They've known each other for a long time or whatever. So he said, yeah, and he took my number down. And then five minutes later, he called me back, and he was like, um, I want to do something big for your brother. I said, okay, that's cool. What's, what's up? You know, because I'm busy. And he said, oh, I'm just to let you know, I don't do social media. I said, oh, okay, I got his game. He, he got my number now. He don't do social media. I was like, wow. So that's how we started talking for the past couple of months. And, yeah, so. Now, has yeah. he ever made any, like, sexual passes towards you or anything? Um... Uh, well, when he came up last week, it was, well, he, he, he said, cause he was asking me, you know, through texts and stuff, what size of, you know, about my breast. He said he liked areolas and how big are yours. And, um, when he saw me in person, he said, you don't look like you're a triple D. And he was like, prove it. And I'm like, how am I going to prove that? I'm not going to pull out my breast in my workplace, outside my workplace. And, you know, he was, um, I guess he was in Alabama where his wife is from because he told me he was getting a divorce. And um, he said he was at the hotel. He um, sent me a, um, he, he FaceTimed me. And he was laying, I guess, in the bed. And he was showing me his underwear. He on his white shirt. I was like, oh, my God, what are you doing? And, yeah. And Girl, did you get that screenshot? Head. Please tell me you got that screenshot of that man oh, in his drawers. No, because I'm not, I was just, like, so shocked by it all. I wasn't, to be honest, I'm not on that trip with him. And I think he sees, he noticed, that's why he stopped talking to me, that, you know, okay, she's not moved by what I got and all this other stuff. And because I, because the reason why he invited me to his house, I'm sure he thought I could have sex with her. And there's no way I'm going to be in his house alone with him. There's right. no way. Okay. So, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, you know, just having fun. I screenshot him. Boob shot. I mean, you don't know whose boob it is. You can't see my face. He don't even know whose boob it is. But he was like, oh, I want to see more and more. He said, oh, my God, those are nice. You'll see the text messages. Okay. And stuff, but, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But. Girl. <laughs> He's not like, he's just, and his wife is so silly. You know, she's just, I go so hard for my husband. I'm like, he keeps doing this to you. Do you, what, what will make you, what will make you believe that, you know, he's not what he is? Does somebody have to have sex with him in front of you? You know, to, for you to open up your eyes to see he is not, he don't love you. He don't want to be with you. Silly, you know, silly woman. So. Silly, silly. Yeah. Some women like to be yeah. silly, though. Yeah, I don't know. She real. I mean, I didn't know she was 38. She looked older than that. I was like, oh, wow. Mm, she she do. looked older than me. I'm 48. And there, ain't no, there ain't no oh, way his wife is 38. That's a lie. No. Yeah, no. no. They said, no, he said she's 38. Yeah. Yeah, he, told, he said that. He said, you know, their age is different. Yeah, they're like eight. 10 years difference, yeah, mm. so, mm-hmm. yeah, but he's just, and, you know, he's just going to continue to do this to different women, but he's not used to what I gave him, he thought, oh, I'm going to impress her with all this stuff I have, and invite her, I was like, well, you to invite me to your home that you have here in Houston, that was kind of like, I said, no, make your flight, I'm not going to go. So, and his whole demeanor really changed from the plane. I said, you're okay. He really, like, he was, like, upset about it. Because I guess that was his agenda. Even though he said he had a business deal, um, that's why he came to Houston. But I really think he thought that I would really actually go to his house with them. And I don't know. He was and like, the I'll devil, The me. devil said, you's a liar, bitch. You's a liar. <laughs> I am so yeah. glad you didn't fall for that shit, girl. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I mean, when he bought his wife that car to say, I'm sorry, I said, him and T.I. must be friends. <laughs> Every time they cheat, they buy their wives' cars. Every time. Uh-huh. Offset does the same thing, too. Cardi B's her. Every time she cheat on her, he buy her a car. I said, is this the get- is this the cheat right. game?
<laughs> I cannot stand y'all. I'm in the comments and y'all going off. So y'all call her a 40 year old skis a day. <laughs> but listen, all the receipts are going on Instagram. But first, okay, because we got some shit we got to talk about. Now, I want to tell you. Um, the day that she's talking about that he came, like, I guess came up to her job, he showed up in his wife's Porsche. Okay. Um, he's, uh, we have screen, uh, videos, like videos of like a screen share of them talking, I'm not going to reveal her identity because she is the sister of a pastor who's his best friend. Okay. So this goes deep. Wifey already knows what's going on. So don't y'all be like, oh, you know, a tag on Instagram. This ain't her dick to carry no more. Okay. This is community dick at this point. Okay. Pastor John Gray wants his pain to be for the community. Mm -hmm. He wants it to be ushered around and passed using the collection plate. Okay. And uh, not only that, like he's giving her money. And this one particular day, uh, when his wife went out of town and he says, oh, when she was like, oh, you know, I'm getting, uh, he told her she was, he was getting a divorce, a divorce and everything. The wife went out of town for one day. Okay. He was at home in his seven bedroom house and was literally trying to get her hot tail ass over there to get some dick. Okay. He was trying to get her to pick up the stomach so he could put it in, but we got a special guest. <laughs> Who's got a little bit more information and who is pretty close to this family, okay? Uh, where is, let's, let's call uh, uh, Pastor, and he's a pastor himself, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why the Bluetooth ain't on? What the hell? Oh, shit. So I just turned on the Bluetooth. Okay, can we hear? Pastor Larry Reed? Hey, what's up, Tosh? Okay, you got to talk a little louder now, Pastor, like you preach to the can, congregation, can you, okay? Can, we got 19, yes, we got 19 uh, 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 church members in, in the chat. 19,000. 19,000, okay? And and Pastor John, you know, he got his thug suit on. You see him? Pastor John? <laughs> yeah, I saw him. <laughs> So listen, all right. Now, the reason I asked you uh, uh, to come on to this segment is because you were responsible for really busting him out the first time, okay, with the woman that he claimed he never slept with, but, you know, he bought wifey a Lamborghini and, you know, some other shit just to make up, you know, and you know a little bit more about, you know, his ways. And so I first want to ask you, did you listen to the audio? Yeah, I listened to the audio. I, I heard what she said. And oh. she actually said her name, so that ain't on you. Oh, shit. I, I forgot to delete that out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she is, okay, uh, we can put it out there, okay? Because I, I didn't, you know, really, you know, make no promises or anything like that. But she is the sister to uh, his best friend, Eric. Is it Brewer? Yeah, it's Brewer. Brewer. Okay, and you know Eric Brewer, don't you? Yeah, just from doing, you know, I mean, I, I, mean, I was pastoring for 20 years before I got into entertainment, so I, I have to know who's who, and I definitely know exactly who he is. Okay, okay, perfect. Can the winos hear him pretty good? Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. Now, um, after hearing the story, what what do you think? Well, it's it's a repeat, and I just really feel bad for his wife. I call her the Avenger because she like really intuitive. Really so you friend, you friends with his wife? Well, I I feel for the wife. Okay. I, I, I've always had a concern as it relates to the wife. Okay. You know, so I've always like spoke positive of her. Cause even when he went to go sit down with Trump, she was the one that said, "Don't go sit down with Trump." Mm. It started then, cause that's mm. really when I started getting into the story. And then when he bought her the Lamborghini after eight years of marriage, I was like, "Hold on." No dude does that for an eight-year anniversary. What has he done? Mm. And so I did a story on that first, speculating that there was a woman. Well, mm. What I didn't know is that a month or two prior to me saying that, that they had actually, and from their pulpit, basically explained that there was some woman that John was talking to. The wife said this, that there was some woman that was talking to John and really talking to the 16-year-old John who never could get attention from girls. Mm. So when I, so I went back live later on and talked about that. That was a hell of I, an I, excuse. I like the way she she laid that out. She <laughs> said her husband was having an affair as a grown man, but with his 16-year-old self. Yeah, that's what well, she said. Well, they, they are clever as hell with these words. I got to tell you, they need to, <laughs> God, they need to write a dictionary. 
<laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, so, so okay. while I'm doing that story, I'm getting inbox. I'm okay. like, who is this? Who is this cinema this? So Long the late, the girl actually reached out to you, the woman. Yeah, it was her friend that reached out to me because she, what began to happen is the friend began to tell me, no, it, you're right, you're exactly right, but my friend don't want to talk. So a okay. lot of time passed after that. And what John began to do is to go on all of these big outlets. It would be 105. Okay. 103. He went on Sister Sister. He began to talk about how his wife has covered him and really raised him up to be a grown man as, okay. as, the, as the wife. I'm like, yeah, that don't make no sense. And he was basically trying to cover himself for all the different stuff that had been said that was that would begin to come out and i by this time i'm saying no there is a woman she's not talking but there is a woman now i had already interviewed this girl I okay have like two hours of audio i still have not released but oh I wow already... can you, will you want do you want to release it if you don't we got a platform that would love to hear it <laughs> you know the winos we we would love to go to church <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still got it. I haven't okay. got rid of anything. Okay. You know, I, but see, I always liked John, so I wasn't like trying to like put it out there like that. But he kept right on lying. He, I mean, to everywhere he went, and then he had his wife believing that he wasn't having a sexual, any kind of sexual relationship with this girl. Well, when he started doing that, then the girl wanted to talk to me direct, direct, um, di directly on air. She mm. wanted to do an interview, so I, I changed her voice. I put it out. Okay. It got added on the 19th of January, 2019, and she was ready for me to put put that out. But our original conversation, I had recorded that anyway, but okay. I put that out. You know, so I ended up having to go ahead and tell the whole story because he just kept lying, and behind the scene was telling everybody that I was lying, that I was just trying to destroy him. And his wife was going around saying, you know, he didn't sleep with her, but it's a conversation. And I knew he was lying to her. So it's really my feelings as it relates to the wife that really made me just put the audio out, release the voicemails where he left voicemails saying, you know, that uh, my wife has discovered our relationship, delete all of the, the messages. She even know that I had you in the hotel with us while we're here in Atlanta. So it, it, all of that, I just had to put out. But this is the same thing. He told mm -hmm. her that he was going to divorce the um, his wife. So he, he told the, the chick that you exposed yeah. the same thing he just told his best friend's sister that he yeah. was going to divorce his wife. And the same thing he told the chick that he was in the hotel with at the Stella Awards. Now, he I heard that he got the chick a hotel like in the same hotel as his wife. So when his wife went to sleep, he went down stairs to the hotel to meet that woman. Exactly. But that's he true. said he ain't never sleep with her. That, that's what he said. But, but that ain't what she said. Now, what did she say exactly? Did they sleep together? The You know, the first woman that he cheated with, did they sleep together? She said that they had a sexual relationship and she described the um, different facetimes of them prior to being at the hotel she described being on the um, facetime and having cyber sex with him he would masturbate while she's doing certain things so she described all of that that's in the audio is he packing is the pastor packing i, I, don't, I don't know nothing you don't know nothing you <laughs> said she described i want to know what john gray working with he buying lamborghinis and shit <laughs> Shit, I'm mad to get me a side pastor. You understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, 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 he got her a BMW. He bought the side chick a BMW? Yeah, he uh, paid it off for her. I think she had just, she um, she went and got it and he paid it off for something like that. Or well, either he bought the cash, but I know she said that he got me a BMW. Now I heard he loved to eat pussy. Is that true? Yeah, that's what they say. That's Child, what, uh, that's what, look at them lips. Look at them lips. <laughs> he look like he just read it. Like, come over here. Let me smell it. Yeah. But see, the thing is this, though. What, what really is disturbing about it. Okay. Um, because, um, Pastor, because I'm sorry. Am I am I offending you, Pastor? Because I know you are a pastor of 20 years. This is Larry Reed Live. Y'all can find him on YouTube, Instagram. <laughs> He's a pastor for 20 years. No scandals. No. no listen to this. Okay. I pastored for 20 years. Okay. But now I'm. I'm 100% doing, I mean, people still look at me as their pastor, and I still minister to people, but not from a church anymore. I do it differently online. Okay. But let me say, but let me say this, though. What is disturbing about it is 
I felt like he had an opportunity to really tell his wife the truth. I felt like he just continued, con- continually lied to his wife with the first girl and the girl at the Stella Award. I just think that he is really continuing to put his family and his wife, including his church, through the same ordeal over and over. And that's just the sad thing about it. I mean, because now his wife got to deal with this again. Shit. Now, listen, you know, I am not trying to, like, put any stress on her. Now, if it was the first time, because I heard she was going through a lot. You know, I had some people, you know, that claimed to be a part of her team that reached out to me uh, trying to kill the story and, you know, basically saying, listen, he got a a hot dick, but don't do this to his wife. I'm like, I'm not doing nothing to his wife. He doing this shit to his wife. What the fuck I got? I'm not doing this. Excuse me, Pastor, for cussing in front of you. I'm sorry. Yes, I, but, Pray but for you me know, after the show. But you know that. But you know that's what they. That's what they say to me. Because see, I only do a story after it comes out. You have to already be. The story has to already be going on. And so when I started doing the story, I got the same calls, the technical difficulties you've had on your live tonight. That's the church people reporting your live over and over, hundreds and probably thousands of people. So I know exactly. Because I was like, about. why is the live like glitching? It's never done that before. Yeah, so they I was mean, reporting yeah. my live? Yeah, that's what was happening. They were praying that see the- see how to see how the devil try to come after you and God. <laughs> God made sure that this story went out tonight. You see me, John yeah. Gray. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I hope should love to eat pussy I- too much. You wouldn't be but here. You, but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me tell you, but you know what I'm hoping. What I'm hoping is mm-hmm. this I mean, because you you're a bigger platform than me. I'm about two hundred thousand people. That's big on YouTube. No, but you're like almost 800,000. I feel like this is his opportunity now. I think this is like the last hit before like something huge. Look, you need to fix this, whether this means separation between you and your wife or you and your wife being very uh, vocal and putting on out there, you know, y'all at certain uh, impasse in mm-hmm. your marriage or whatever. I think this is an opportunity for him to just fix all of this. I mean, because don't nobody expect Pastor to be perfect. I know I don't. I know you're going to mess up. So did you, even though you didn't get caught in no scandals, did you have a scandal that was under the radar? I didn't have a scandal, and I didn't get caught in a scandal. Now, did I do some things? I did, but it ain't get out of What you do? What you do, Pastor? I ain't telling you what I did. In front of almost 20,000 folks. (laughs) You got to give us a word. You know, this Uh, is your conviction. uh, The Lord said, just, just be, just be free. No, I'm free. I'm free and proud. <laughs> you said about 20 years ago? No. <laughs> Somebody said WAP, worship and praise. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, so, but I think, I mean, because I was looking at it, I was looking on my page. I said, I, on YouTube, I got 82,000. On Facebook, I got 100,000 followers. So 200,000. Now he's going to 800,000. Because, you know, I don't really do the church stories. And, you know, they were, they was calling hard. Like, please, just please, what can you do to make this go away? I almost gave them a number. I sure did. I should have. <laughs> I should have gave him a number to give to the co- to the church to pass the collection plate to make this shit go away. But I said, nah, I got integrity. God has anointed me to do the Lord's work and yeah. expose, okay? We don't yeah. lie over here, okay? Yeah. Look what yeah. the trolls tell you. They know that we oh, don't yeah. lie over here. Larry, do we lie over here? You a pastor. Not at you, all. Not at all. Not, not at all. Not no, not at all. Mm-mm. You know, but they'll make up stuff and come up with all different kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the I see the YouTubers out there that's like killing you all, all the time. And Trying to, it. and they still look, they still sitting where they at. See, uh-huh. you need to focus on building your own platform instead of trying to tear down. See, God don't like that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the YouTubers exactly. trying to tear me down instead of just building themselves up, you know? Yeah. And yeah. you're not yeah. gonna grow like that. Okay. No, you're not. You're not. No. You heard yeah. the pastor. He said what he said. Now listen. Um, so, do you think this was an entanglement? Just do you think this entanglement is worth a divorce? Since you know you know them, and you've you've been but, there, and you know. Yeah, I have. You th- okay. this, is what, this is what I think. I really think that she needs to separate because he's clearly going through something. And at this point, the women that she mentor and the women that she uh, minister to, and she's a great minister and teacher. I think they need to see her you know, not stand behind her husband this time for the third or fourth time, but fight for her relationship at the same time, keep her dignity. Mm. She need to create space and say, look, you can't be out there 
I mean, I know what happened with T.I. and them. Yeah. Can't, well, you know, him and T.I. got a lot of common, like I said. Every time they cheat, they buy a car. <laughs> right. And not Shit. only that. I mean, the one, the women now, I mean, they're disrespectful. I mean, they really shouldn't be going out there. If you're a side chick, you need to keep the whole story quiet as long as he's paying his sin bill. As long as the pastor is paying his sin bill. His sin bill. Sit down and shut up. I swear to God, I love how pastors just talk. I love it. <laughs> And, you know, my uncle, he he ain't no pastor. Like, my uncles ain't no pastor. But they sound just like y'all, but they just, you know, crackheads and drunks and shit. But they can give a hell of a sermon. Listen, that's why they love. I can give a hell of a sermon, too. Uh, yeah, you but listen, preaching for real. I, I try. I try. I try. The God, gave, God gave me work to do. And I know it ain't everybody's cup of wine, but we still yeah. drink. Um, listen, so we're going to have to, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, get on with the show, but okay, is there right. anything else you want to add? You want to let everybody know where they can follow you? Cause I'm going to release these receipts. Okay. On my Instagram, unwind with Tasha K, um, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Larry is going to, uh, share these receipts as well. He's going to be following up on this show on his show. Larry, tell them where they can find you. Well, you can find me on YouTube and on Facebook and on Periscope. We broadcast simultaneously on all platforms. So it's Larry Reed Live, R-E-I-D, like L-A Reed, Larry Reed Live. Fun all right. Day. All right. Thank, Thank you, Larry. You so I appreciate it. And uh, listen, give my prayers to the family. And I hope the wife stands up and says, fuck it. Listen, you, you, you know, somebody else is going to eat this pussy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I talk. All right. All right. All right bye. Now I got to go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Commentary. What? What? Is, I know. You know. Normally, we don't cover uh, church topics, but today the Lord has asked us to do a job. Okay, a job. Um, does the pastor want the wife? What pastor? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Um, let me see. Let me see. Now, uh, that concludes the topics. Now, uh, please do not forget. Okay, put up the neutral birth. Okay. Um, don't forget to order your Nutriburst, okay? My favorite liquid multivitamin supplement, all right, has everything that you need that you don't get from food, and it, it, it will even curve your appetite, okay, so that you're not even craving food. You're going to lose a few extra pounds, all right? Um, you can find the link below in the description box as well as in the comments. I love it. I drink it three times a day in small doses, not the capsule. I do like a full capsule, but I do it three times a day, so I get everything that I need over the course of the day, okay? The link is below in the description box as well as in the comments. Comments. Um, we're gonna take a break. Please put your questions in the comment section, and we'll be back after this commercial break. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this shit once, and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence, so visit EmbracePangea.com and of course, I got my winos covered for a discount, so use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Reverse! Y'all remember that damn song, don't y'all laugh at me, why knows, but for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it and their friend lupus can get it too okay so i need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do so visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order y'all so who said i see this commercial too much i want that man to eat mine stop it john gray out here eating pussy on behalf of the church um listen put your questions in the comments okay 
Um, let me say, y'all say the side chick is skinty. Do you think the pastor and his wife will make it through the next year? I think so. I think so. He didn't sleep with this woman, although he was trying to. Um, I, I, you know, they've been married a long time, and I think honestly, you know, you can make it through anything. You know, if he if he wants to do the work, you know. So those are his insecurities, not hers. They will become her insecurities if she starts to, if she, uh, you know, stays. But uh, I think they can make it through anything, you know. They got the Lord on their side. And Joel Osteen, he next to the Lord. Uh, Tasha, are you going to discuss Latoya Halucka's husband? No, 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 no. But if the side chick want to give me the star and give me the video, absolutely. Um, Somebody said the wife isn't going anywhere. Is Tasha repeating outfits? I swore she wear the same shirt before. I wore the same shirt four times. Mm-hmm. Four times. <laughs> y'all act like y'all don't wear the same damn clothes all the time. What the fuck is going on here? Shit, I'm a regular person. <laughs> I ain't got no damn stylist, no damn makeup team and shit. What the hell? I ain't been shopping either lately because we just moved. You're going to get a few repeat outfits on this motherfucker. Listen. Um... Any news about Nikki? No, just pray. I mean, she, you know, had the baby. Everything's good. Uh, let me see. Joel Essie is next to Satan. That's what the hell I was trying to say. Um, let me see. I'm going to wait again for the motherfuckers that got something to say. Shit. Uh, why do you spend all your time bashing people? You will reap what you sow. Child, why are you here watching us bash people? What the hell is John... Pastor John Gray, will you please come get this hypocrite? Only a hypocrite can, can preach to a hypocrite, okay? Please. Why is she here? Tell me that I'm going to read what I saw, but you stand and watch it. You watch it. Hey, girl, how you doing? Get you. She probably got some wine, too. Be sure to like and subscribe. Tasha said, they said I'm a celebrity now. Well, give me a celebrity stylist. Shout out. Tell them to come on with this shit. Um, have no respect for the fake Pastor Reed. I hope that, what the hell? <laughs> Teddy will be back next show, okay? He will be back next show. Um, is T.I. Uh, didn't know about Zonique being pregnant? Why would he know? Because he would have told the whole world, just like he told the whole world his other daughter was a virgin. They're auctioning her, her coochie off. Meanwhile, the other one is pregnant. Anyway, um, let me see. This is, I don't know who that is, okay. Um, Tasha, you need a wine cellar backdrop? I'm going to do something like that. We're going to do something like that. My damn phone going off. That's why I got to keep the airplane mode on. Teddy in the house packing. He need to be shit. All this shit we got to do. Um, Let me see. Bring Larry back. Y'all enjoy Larry. I will bring Larry back. Anytime we got some church subjects, I'll run, cause, you know, I'll run it through him first because he follow all the churches, okay? Um, I will definitely run it through him first, and I will bring him here, okay? Uh, yo, Tasha, I'm an avid beauty face mask wearer. Lately, my Instagram has been barred with people calling me a race. What the hell? Um, yo, Tasha, I'm an avid beauty face mask wearer. Lately, my Instagram has been bombarded with people calling me a racist, saying I'm doing black red face. I'm just an Aussie white cunt trying to stay cute. Any advice? Child, I ain't got no advice for you. You, I, 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 um, hit me up for happy hour. Hit me up for happy hour. Thank you. Send me a happy hour. Uh, and we will feature you on happy hour and we'll let you discuss this. Okay. Whether you want to discuss it live or you want to remain, you know, off camera, Jasmine at unwindwithtashak.com, J-A-S-M-I-N-E at unwindwithtashak.com. Okay. What is the other $10 thing right there? Um, Prince Siebel Noble Design. I don't know what that is. Patricia C. Nope. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll visit. Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that. Um, I could style you. Somebody need to style me. Shit. Um, I'm a country hoe. I don't know how to dress. Okay. At all. My husband be like, damn, Tasha, you wearing that? I don't know how to dress. Shit. And when I was 16, instead of buying the nice clothes and shoes, I was helping to put food on the table and everything. Never got a chance to learn how to dress. So shit, hit me with a stylist. Mm -hmm. Tasha, the church hijacked my life. I'm sure they did. They were just hitting report, report, report. I've never had that happen before. Never. Um, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 
Why do I like being so messy? Child, you must like the messy. What you doing in this live? What are you doing in this live being messy with me? Look, can't stand that guy. I think, let me see, I actually made a lot. Stay regular. Um, oh, you guys are so sweet. Um, what's the latest with Tamar? She is out of that contract and she is at home trying to prep for her next business venture. Okay. She ain't doing no more reality TV. She is done. Thank you so much. Tana too cute. Um, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for accepting my same shirt four times. You can pull up the videos on this bitch and see it. Okay. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Okay. I want to thank all the moderators. Okay. Uh, Tara Locks Inspiration, Opinion, Opinionated with the Side of Shade, Monet L, Libra Sun Goddess, Valerie G, Miss Blue, Miss Danielle, Miss C, the Beauty Diva, Tasha Talks True, Believe It, To Achieve It, Mary Lou, uh, Jaguar, is it Jagan Hagar, Mahogany B, Summertime's Prego, Journey, Retta Armand, uh, who? Uh, Retta Armand, Miss B, making you think your favorite bed witch, and no, I can still not say this name, and it's a, it's a day one, Nakuma Tour, okay? I got, listen, I need you to send me an email, Nakuma, if I'm saying your name right, um, and tell me, listen, we need to get on the phone, and you need to tell me how to say it, okay? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I know we had some technical difficulties at the beginning. We're going to chop down the live for people that, you know, are having trouble viewing it. And we're going to put it together because we know how to fix all that and stuff. So we'll make these into smaller segments and everything like that. Thank you so much to all the whitos, okay? And all the haters too. I appreciate y'all um, for tuning in. Thank you to Jasmine. Y'all can follow Jasmine on Instagram and ask her questions if you can't get to me because my DM is, is flooded. She definitely can. And answer your questions. Thank you so much to Nicole Hutchins. Please continue to pray for her mother. Her mother is about to undergo cancer surgery and she needs all the prayers that we can give her, okay? Because she's going to make it through this, okay? Fuck cancer all day, okay? Um, And what else do I need to say? Oh, if you guys want to advertise on my platform, please feel free to send us an email via marketing at unwindwithtashak.com. That is marketing at unwindwithtashak.com. And for those of y'all that are asking what I'm drinking, uh, the San Antonio Cardinal American Sweet Red, it is very sweet. It is very high in alcohol, 11.5%. Woo, I'm, I'm just glad. I'm just glad the show went good. Because, I mean, last time it was like 16% alcohol, wasn't it? It was 15. I was like, damn. I was like, oh, I was like, where the fuck am I fucked up? Y'all did that, okay? Please, drink responsibly, okay? And uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you don't like this video, subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Unwind with Tasha K. It feels good to be back for Fuckery Friday. All 20,000 winos. Okay? And hell, if you didn't like this video, you can still subscribe in the way. Just so you can cuss my ass out. Not that I'm a really give a damn anyway. Not I got to go. Bim, bim. Bye. <laughs> oh, it ain't working? Well, shit. <laughs> oh no 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 hit uh transition up top so go to the uh eye you're gonna see us walk through technical difficulty so hit the eye you know and then go to transition no 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 up here in the in the center in the center in the center this is real right now this is how we be doing it okay there we go <laughs>